So anyway, that's Mardi Gras. So anybody ever been down there to New Orleans? Anybody been down to New Orleans? Yeah. He has. Oh, right. Neville, you went. So what, did you go for Mardi Gras, Neville? No. No? His kids, his, his father and his grandfather were from New Orleans. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's great. Your people are from New Orleans. That's great. Walking to New Orleans. All right. Yay, we're singing already. Hi, Beatrice. We're, we're talking about New Orleans because next Tuesday's Mardi Gras. Now, okay. We're might do um that's right. I know that song, Walking to New Orleans. We might have to sing that. I'm gonna sing that table that for next week because this week. Because New Orleans, I mean, Mardi Gras is next Tuesday, and but the first holiday comes is Valentine's Day. So we're going to do a few more wild love songs, okay, before we do that. Hi, Beatrice, how are you? You ready to sing? Yeah. All right. Everybody, so everybody, we're going to get ready to sing. Sit up straight. Take a nice deep breath in. Roll your shoulders around. Oh, my gosh. No, we're trying to wake up. Wayne, take it. <laughs> what are you going to do with him? Deep breath in, roll your shoulders, roll your shoulders around. There we go. Row the boat. Okay. Another deep breath in. All right. And this time we're going to put one finger out like this. Okay. Because this is You Are My Sunshine, which is a total love song. And I'm going to start it with this and please sing it. Are you ready? And a one and a two. And a three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, when I was sleeping, I dreamt I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken, and I hung my head and I cried. It's a sad love song. You are my sunshine. Everybody sing. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hey, hey. All right. Thanks for singing along. I got obviously I need some water after that one. Hmm. Now, um, I am gonna do I'm so you know what, Neville, I'm so glad you brought up that walk into New Orleans. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I know I, I totally know it, um, the tune and everything, but I need to get all the lyrics and next week we'll sing it, okay? I'm writing it down. Walking to New Orleans. Is that Fats Domino? Fats Domino. Yeah. <laughs> I love that one. My husband had an old Fats Domino record, and when we were courting, he used to play that. So I remember that pretty, pretty well. Yeah. So, well, listen, we're going to talk about crazy love today and how, you know, um, well, when you're young, you can fall in love with just about anything. And uh, Peggy Lee sang a song about it, about, you know, that thing that happens to young people. Wait, this is my crazy, Pe I don't know. I, I'm gonna may have to change it to my Peggy Lee. You know, she was blonde and I have a blonde wig. So hang on, close your eyes. Here we go. <laughs> Now I'm Peggy Lee. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love seeing myself with this wig. I just think it's so funny. 
and and you know what, folks? Um, my sister, who looks a lot like me, except she has a better nose. Um, on my wedding, during my wedding, she sang a beautiful love song, but she had dyed her hair um, blonde, like this color. But it's funny because our our my complexion has a little yellow in it, and so and so does hers. Hers has even a little more because she's paler than I am, and it looked like she was jaundiced <laughs> because the yellow in her hair made made her skin look yellow. So I'm not going to dye my hair yellow, but I will wear this Peggy Lee um, wig for this song. Now I need you snapping, not napping, because this is a snappy song. S snapping or clapping. And this is what happens why, when we fall in love. It goes like this. Never knew how much I love you. Never knew how much I care. When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear. You give me fever. Boom, boom, boom. When you kiss me, fever. When you hold me tight, fever. Oh, in the morning, fever all through the night. Romeo loved Juliet. Juliet, she felt the same. When he put his arms around her, he said, Julie, baby, you're my flame. Now give us fever. Boom, boom, boom. When we kiss it, fever with that fame in you. Fever. Oh, hey. I'm a fire fever, yeah, I burn for soup. Captain Smith and Pocahontas had a very mad affair. When her daddy tried to kill him, she said, Daddy-o, don't you dare. He gives me fever. Boom, boom, boom. When he kisses fever, when he holds his tight. Daddy! I'm his missus, daddy, won't you treat him right? Now you listen to my story. Here's the point that I have made. Chicks were born to give you fever. Be it fair or not, or centigrade, they give you fever. Boom, 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 boom. When you kiss him, fever, when you hold him tight. Fever in the morning. Fever all through the night. Yeah. All right. Isn't that a great song? I love oh, hey. that song. And it's so true. And, you know, because sometimes you fall in love with people that you really, like, probably shouldn't. And it's just you're blinded by fever and smoke gets in your eyes and everything else when you're young, you know. it's And you know why? Why is that? Anybody know? It's called hormones. When when you get, you know, that age, the hormones start racing around your body. And I'm telling you, it's a serious drug, hormones. And they affect us in all kinds of ways that we don't even know. And biology, you know, biologists and di people who study these things, doctors have figured out that, you know, really people are driven more by maybe hormones and just about anything else. And it's, it's wild. So anyway, and that's what love, you know, people fall in love and stuff because of that. And I've been one to fall in love with um, some very foolish people. And so I have to do a foolish love song. Hang on two seconds. Be right back. I noticed I didn't have my fool's hat. Have, okay, so Wayne, I'm gonna start with you. You ever fall in love with anybody foolish? It turned out to be a fool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, have you ever fallen in love with anybody foolish? Beatrice? Yeah, Beatrice, have you ever fallen in love with anybody foolish? Uh-huh. You have. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough sometimes, you know, yeah. when that happens. Because <laughs> some part of you, I think, knows that they're a fool, but you can't even help yourself. You fall in love with them anyway. How about you, Neville? You ever fall in love with anybody foolish? One time. One time. That's all. It's, sometimes, if you're lucky, it just takes once and then you learn. But um, sometimes, well, some people do it over and over again. This yeah. is a great song. It's about a fool. I have to wear my fool's hat. 
<laughs> and, and um so this is about a poor woman who um falls in love with a fool and she knows he's a fool but she can't help it because he's so cute all right you ready and so <laughs> it's like this he's a fool and don't i know it but a fool can have his choice i'm in love and don't i show it like a baby in arms loves that same sweet fascination lately i've not slept a wing since that half pint imitations got me on the brink i'm wild again beguiled again a whimpering simpering child again bewitched bothered and bewildered am i couldn't sleep and wouldn't sleep when love came and told me i shouldn't sleep bewitched bothered and bewildered am i lost my heart but what of it he is cold i agree he can laugh but i love it although the laughs on me i'll sing to him each spring to him and long for the day when i'll cling to him bewitched bothered and bewildered am i Olé. oh yeah Thank you very much um i love that song and in fact that's from uh pal joey an old movie with Frank Sinatra and Rita Hayworth. I think Rita Hayworth sings that in the movie. And it's so funny. Rita Hayworth is, oh, she was one of the most beautiful, you know, stars. You know, she was actually Mexican American, but they changed her name because, you know, it wasn't cool back then to be Mexican. Anyway, um, and she is so beautiful. And next to her, um, Frank Sinatra, who is so skinny, he looked, he totally looked like a half pint imitation. <laughs> he was. You know, it it was a funny movie, but he has that song. And that song is a very special song in my heart because I actually did fall in love with a fool. And I think I knew it, but I just went, I, I just couldn't help myself. And I'm really lucky, folks. In fact, I, I'm going to tell this story with my fool's hat on because I really, really was lucky that um, I found out that this guy I was in love with was a real fool, like a dangerous fool. But here's my story. So I was about 17 and a half years old, just out of high school. And now I'd had a boyfriend in high school, but I wasn't, he was more like a buddy. He wasn't really, like, I wasn't really, you know, eh, in love with him, you know, he was a nice guy. But anyway, so, um, and we were sort of breaking up, going our different ways. and. Um, then I was, uh, given the opportunity, and this is so funny, right out of high school to move out of my parents' house and go stay with my friend, my, one of my best friends in an old farmhouse that her parents were fixing up and we got to stay there for free. And it was right near this junior college and we would bicycle to the junior college. Well, at the time, my friend was going out with um this sailor from mare island which is you know in vallejo and that's where we're from i'm from and so she says hey katie you want to go on a double date with me you know my my sweetheart and this other sailor you know and i said hmm, i don't know i can't imagine having fun with that she goes oh come on don't be so don't be so silly just give it a try and i said okay well, that night they came to pick us up. I don't know even where we're going. And or maybe they just came to hang out. And there's a knock on the door and I open the door. I'll remember, never forget this. And here's this tall, dark, handsome dude. And I was just uh, uh, like this. 
not probably with my, I mean, I was in love. It was like love at first sight. And he was a very, he was a gentleman and he was smart. He had been, a, in fact, he was a, a journalist in the Navy and he ended up, he was, um, he had been to uh, college, but then when he got out of college, he got, you know, this during the Vietnam War and his, um, uh, his number was really low. In other words, he was going to be drafted anyway. So he decided to join, he made a deal with the Navy. He said, I'm going to, if I join the Navy and I become a ma Navy journalist, then I won't have to go overseas. And they said, no, you will not go overseas. So he was in the Navy, but he hated it. But anyway, I was in love with him. And it was just like, it was fast moving. I mean, I was just, we were just having way too much fun. And then he got, thank goodness, really, this is another piece of, of very good luck for me. He got transferred up to um, Portland, Oregon um, from Vallejo. And so we didn't see each other except on weekends. And he would fly down and see me and oh my goodness, it was, I was just falling madly in love. And one, um, one weekend, and it was, I think it was in September, I was in college or maybe October, and it was a really nice weekend. It was going to be really warm. So I borrowed, I didn't have a car, but I borrowed my parents' car. And we decided, so we had a car. And so we decided to drive down to the beach of Santa Cruz. You know, you know, some of those beaches down there, Beatrice, you ever been down there? Yes. <laughs> it's pretty down there, you know? And so we decided to drive down to, and we found a secluded beach, but I, a friend of mine had told me about it. And we walked over these rocks and then we walked over some more rocks and some more rocks. And all of a sudden we were in the secluded rendezvous like that. And all of a sudden we were, you know, had our picnic and we weren't paying attention to anything except probably some kissing. And then all of a sudden our feet were wet. Why? The tide had come in. The tide had rolled in and it was way in, came in really fast. And so we grabbed our blankets, grabbed all our stuff as fast as we could. And we started walking and it was not easy because the only way to get back to our car was the way we came. Well, what had happened is the tide had rolled in and it was covering the rocks. So our knees and thighs, we were up to our thighs in this water that's coming, you know, the tide's really coming in. And he, instead of saying, oh, I'll help you, this, this uh, boyfriend of mine, his name was John, he starts screaming, look what you've done. You could kill us this way. Why didn't you tell me? And I was like, oh, I didn't know. And, you know, we're, we're walking along and getting banged up. And finally, we get back to our car. And his, he was so angry. I swear, he had smoke coming out of his ears. He was like, you know, and I, I was like, <laughs> right, <laughs> you're right. I should have thrown a poison dart at him right then, um, but I didn't. And I was like, oh, and I felt responsible. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you know, I didn't know and stuff like that. And so I said, well, we've still got time. You know, we, the sun's going to be out for a while. Let's take a drive up to Mount Tam because that's really pretty. And so he start, we started driving, but he's still mad at me. He's driving like this, not talking to me. And I'm trying to, you know, just make small talk. Well, finally, we get up to Mount Tam. Mount Tamalpais. Now, how many people have driven that road? Oh, that's a crazy road. Right. A crazy road. Right, Neville? Bumping and everything. Oh, my gosh. Well, he gets, we're on that road. And I, my parents did not have a sports car. They had a station wagon. OK, and he's driving it like he's driving a sports car and he's going really fast. We're going like this and like that and back and forth. And I'm like getting more and more scared. I'm saying, John, John, stop, stop. And he won't stop. He's getting faster and faster. And I said, OK, that's it. The next corn, like because, you know, you have those really sharp turns. And the next turn, I'm going to open the door and pretend to put my foot out because I'm going to jump. Oh, Jesus. 
Yeah, isn't that, isn't that crazy? Because I was so afraid in that car. And so I put, I opened the passenger side door and put my foot out at the next thing. And I said, I, I'm going to get ready to jump the next time. And he finally slowed down. And I'm telling you something. I should, I should have known right then and there that he was really crazy, you know, but I had to go up and visit his family, like, you know, maybe a month later. And guess what? They were all woohoo crazy. And I do mean not in a good way. And so my mother said to me, well, you remember Katie runs in families. So <laughs> that's right. And so, she's right too. Anyway. And so I said, bye -bye. and we, we split up. It was really hard on me. I was so in love with that guy. I was kind of depressed for almost like a year, but I knew if I stayed with that guy, he'd figure out a way to kill me, you know? And I was uh, too young to, you know, to, be, to do that. So anyway, I was really lucky, but boy, oh boy, was I a fool in love, all right? So we're gonna sing some more songs about that. And I've got a song about that. Wait, this is about when you're 17 and you fall in love. Okay, I'm gonna change hats. <clears throat> this is my Valentine's hat. Now the Beatles sang this hat, but I don't have sang this song, but I don't have a Beatles hat or wig. So we're gonna just do this. This is okay. This is a clapping song. So can you put your hands together? And this is about when you're 17 years old and you saw her standing there. Okay, you ready? Oh, she was just 17, and you know what I mean. And the way she looked is way beyond the so How could I stand with another oh, when I saw her standing there? But she looked at me, and I, I could see. That's the fortune long I fall in love with her. I've never danced with another Ooh, when I saw her standing there. Well, my heart went boom when I crossed my room and she held her hand in my room. Well, we danced through the night and we held each other tight. And before too long, I fell in love with her. Now I'll never dance with another. Everybody go like this. Woo! <laughs> when I saw her standing there. Yeah. Right. Beatles, John, Paul, Ringo, all those guys, right? They have they wrote some pretty good love songs. I'm going to be singing another couple of their love songs because they they have some really good ones too. But then there's com there's some great other love songs that we have to do. We have to do some old ones and romantic ones, folks. But did you ever um fall in love with you were dancing, Wayne? Fall in love with when you were dancing. Did I ever fall in love when I was dancing? Yes. When well, you were a young whippersnapper. Once I when, whippersnappered. Yes, once you were a whippersnapper. And <laughs> did you fall in love when you were dancing? That's my question. Yes, just a whipper and a snapper. <laughs> okay. All right. How about you, Beatrice? Did you ever fall in love when you were dancing with no. the guy you were dancing with? Uh -uh. Nope. Not that way. Okay. How about you, Neville? On a slow song. It was what? A slow song. Oh, it was a slow song. Slow song. <laughs> of course it was. Very good. How about you, John? Nice and loud. Did you fall in love when you were dancing? Yes. All right. Good. Well, we'll have to do um, some songs about that. 
But this is a song, oh, this is such a great song because this is a song about how, you know, this love is is been around for a long, long time. So it's called As Time Goes, what? Bye. You got it. And and you know what? This song has got some kissing in it. All right. So can everybody kiss like this? Mwah. Can you try that? Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. All right. So when I say kiss, you go. Mwah. All right. You must remember this. A kiss is just a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say, I love you. On that you can rely. No matter what the future brings as time goes by. Moonlight and love songs, never out of date. Hearts full of passion, jealousy and hate. Woman needs man and man must have his mate that no one can deny. It's still the same old story, a fight for love and glory, a case of do or die. The world will always welcome lovers as time goes by. You know how old that song is? 20,000 years. You guys guess? Oh, it is very old. 1931. None of you guys were born then, right? Nobody was born then at that point. But I knew that song. Hmm. That song has been in about a hundred um, different movies, right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys, we have to do another one. And this is the glory of love. Oh my gosh. And it's so true. Because this is about compromises in love. Like when you really fall in love with people, you've got to compromise, right? You've got to give a little and take a little. And that's pretty much all life, right? So this is the glory of love. You ready? Yes. If you know it, sing it. All right, Wayne, you ready to sing? No compromise. Oh, okay. You got to give a little, take a little. And let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You've got to laugh a little, cry a little, and let the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, We've got the world and all its charms. And when the world is through with us, we've got each other's arms. You've got to win a little, lose a little, and always have those blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. Oh, yeah. All right, so true. I'm doing the oldies. What year is that one? Hello. 1936. It's still true, though. It's still true. It's great. It's about a given and taken, right? Okay, I'm going to do another one. Oh, oh, this is the one I sang at a wedding, and it's so true. And I want to, you guys to move to this one. And so everybody, I know pointing isn't supposed to be polite, but you're going to point at me. It's okay. And so everybody go like this. All right. Not just pointing, but go like this. All right. And boom, side to side. Keep us awake. And one, and two, and three. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody who could make me be true, could make me be blue. 
and even be sad just to be glad thinking of you some others i've seen would never be mean would never be cross or try to be boss but they wouldn't do with all your faults you love me still with all your faults i love you still it had to be you marvelous you it had to be you all right you know i um one of my best friends takes care of her 98 year old auntie she's in a wheelchair in her home she's a saint for doing that but this auntie every day almost every day has to sing that song wow. and she she'll forget all kinds of stuff but she always remembers that song and that's the power of music she's 98 years old she forgets sometimes who's taking care of her she forgets all kinds of stuff, but she remembers that song. And that is the power of music. And that's why we're keep doing our old songs because, you know, music's a good stuff and it sticks with us, right? So we're gonna do some songs, some other love songs, but these are gonna be a little bit um, more swinging. Oh, this song I think is pretty darn old, but it's kind of jazzy. Wait a second. And I think, that's Domino did this or Louie, one of those guys. I'm gonna change hats. And this is about when you're, you know, in love and your friend and your lover's not around and you're telling your, you ain't misbehaving, right? Okay. So this is a snapping song too. You ready? Can you snap? Like that. No one to talk with all by myself. No one to walk with, but I'm happy on the show. Ain't misbehaving, saving my love for you. Are you, are you, are you, are you? I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting, it's you I'm thinking of. Ain't misbehaving, saving my love for you. Like Jack Horner in the corner, don't go nowhere. What do I care? Your kisses are what waiting for. Believe me, don't stay out late, don't care to go. I'm home about it, just me on my radio. Ain't misbehaving, saving my love for you. Oh yeah. Now who did that song? Bunch of people. Frankie Mouse. Who did? Frankie Valley? Mickey Mouse. Oh, Mickey, Mickey Mouse? Mouse? <laughs> Mickey Mouse did that song? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Could have. I, I wouldn't put Pat Mickey Mouse sang a lot of cool songs, right? Yeah. So it could have been him. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do another one here. Oh, this is when, oh, someone said, when you were a young whippersnapper, you fall in love dancing. And Neville did when it was a slow song. And John certainly did. So this song is for all of you guys and Beatrice too. All right. And this is about when you're dancing and you're falling in love. And it goes like this. It's called Cheek to Cheek. All right, so everybody sit up straight. You guys are all gonna sing this with me. Sit up straight, everybody take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, that's right. And you go, heaven. All right. Okay, like that. Everybody raise your hands, heaven. Okay, we're gonna, at the count of three, we're gonna put it together and a one and a two and a three. Heaven, I'm in heaven. And the, I, fear, I seem to find the happiness I seek when we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. Heaven, I'm in heaven, and the cares that hung around me for the week seem to vanish like a gambler's lucky streak. 
when we're out together, dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I'd love to climb a mountain or reach the highest peak, but it wouldn't thrill me half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Oh, I'd love to go out fishing in a river or a creek, but it wouldn't thrill me half as much as dancing cheek to cheek. Dance with me, I want my arms around you, my arms around you to carry you through to heaven. I'm in heaven and the cares that hung around me for the week seem to vanish like a gambler's lucky streak. When we're out together, everybody get ready to dance, come on. Dancing cheek to cheek. All right. All right, all you dancers. Good one. I love that song. Fred Astaire. Oh my gosh. When I was um, just a kid, like in high school, and there was literally nothing to do in Vallejo except really get in trouble and big trouble. And so um, my friends and I would stay up late and we'd watch old. Um, Fred and Ginger movies. Did anybody do some of you like I know Neville was in the Bay Area there and it's, um, I think you were here too because I think this was a local channel and it had this thing called Movies Till Dawn. Movies Till Dawn. That's right. Remember that one Neville? Right. Movies Till Dawn. Well, uh, inevitably those Movies Till Dawn, you watch those? Yes. Remember those? And Beatrice, you ever watch them? No. You know, well, they had a lot of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. And so we would, I'd never heard this stuff before. And I was just like enchanted, literally. And in fact, actually, it might be truly one of the reasons I became the hat lady, because I just fell in love with that old music and Fred and Ginger doing their crazy thing. And, and so after we watched the movie, we'd go out to my friends now this is funny because my, the friend we were visiting and watching tv in his living room his mother was a night nurse so she wasn't around so we would do all kinds of funny stuff it was amazing it was absolutely amazing we didn't get in much more trouble but you know i wanted to get out of vallejo and that, <laughs> so that's why i said i'm not getting in trouble in vallejo anyway um because i ended up staying there but what happened is that we would go out to the front lawn and we would practice Fred and Ginger's moves on the front lawn at one in the morning, at two in the morning. Wow. <laughs> Cars would drive by and they'd be like, what is that? What are they drinking? Excuse me? What are they drinking? Yeah, no, actually, believe it or not, we, I was not drinking then. I wasn't drinking. Um, so maybe some of the other people were, but I was not because I wanted to get out of Vallejo. And I realized if I started drinking and my let my guard down, I could get in trouble there. So I did not drink till I got left Vallejo pretty much. Yeah. And so that's the truth. All right. So, but yeah, those, all those wonderful songs are you know, they're old, oldies, but goodies, right? And so that's why I still sing them. All right. Oh, this is a good one. I'm changing hats. This is about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. I have to find a good hat for this. Okay, here we go. All right. Wait a second. Close your eyes for a second, but don't fall asleep. Okay, I'm, I'm going to change hats real quick. Oh, <laughs> Beatrice, you like my new hair? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. What do you think? Right? It's perfect. So um, this is about the animals. And to me, actually, this this hair reminds me of a giant pink, I don't know, I don't, creature. <laughs> a giant pink creature. So this is about love. And it's really a cute old song and it's called let's do it okay so everybody i need snapping or clapping like this all right ready and one and 
two, and a three. Birds do it, bees do it, even educated fleas do it. Let's do it, let's fall in love. In Spain, the best upper sets do it. Lithuanians, and let's do it, let's do it, let's fall in love. The Dutch and old Amsterdam do it, not to mention the Finns. Folks in Siam do it. Think of Siamese twins. Some Argentines without means do it. People say in Boston, even beans do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Romantic sponges, they say, do it. Oysters down in Oyster Bay, do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Cold Cape Cod clams, against their wish, do it. Even lazy jellyfish, do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Electric eels, I might add, do it. Though it shocks them, I know. Why it, ask if Shad do it? Wait or bring me Shad Row. In shallow shoals, English souls do it. Goldfish in the privacy of bowls do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. Yeah, that, isn't that the funniest little song? I love that song. That's Cole Porter. Oh my gosh, he was so funny. How old is that song, folks? We're going way back. Anybody know? 150 years. Something like that. <laughs> 1928. We weren't there. See, people have been doing it for a long time, since 1928, that song. Yeah, that's right. Such a good one. All right. Oh, I love this one. Okay, we're doing romantic ones. We're doing bad ones. We should do some achy, breaky heart songs. Oh, oh, I've got a great achy, breaky heart song. You know, because uh, what, do you, what do you call it? The court, William Shakespeare said something like the course of love never runs smooth, right? So there's always some, some trouble involved. So this is a Texas song. This is about love in Texas. Yeah, you gotta be careful. In fact, there was a song written about that. I don't know all the words called That's the Way the Girls Are in Texas. And they, and they say, there's a, that song and it says, but well, if you be, don't be careful, you know, be good to your women down in Texas because they'll cut you up with a big razor. Woo! So <laughs> this song is about another gal who you better not mess with because, well, you might get hurt. All right. So I need you guys, this is a snapping and clapping song for sure. So put your hands together. Come on, Wayne, can you put your hands together? There we go. All right, keep going now, don't stop. Drinking beer in a cabaret and I was having fun until one night she caught me right. Now I'm on the run. Lay that pistol down, babe, lay that pistol down. Pistol packing mama, you lay that pistol down. She kicked in my windshield. She hit me over the head. She crossed and cried and said, I lied and wished that I was dead. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, mama. You lay that pistol down. Drinking beer in a cabaret and dancing with the blonde. Until one night she caught me and shut out the light. Bang, that bond was gone. Oh, lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, mama, you lay that pistol down. Okay. Anybody ever heard that song before? Well, that's an old song. It is. It's not too old, though. <laughs> hey. well, it's only like 1948. No, just kidding. All right. I'm going to do some newer ones. All right. You guys might know these ones because you're Joan Whippersnappers, and I know that. Okay. I might have to change um this is a great book i'm looking at everybody look at this book if you like to sing or you know anybody likes to sing it says rise again and it has a whole section of motown and r&b and that's what i'm looking for 
because there's a, a couple achy breaky heart songs in here that a lot like good old um, Smokey Robinson did. I'm, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Wait, I'm changing hats. So who did this one? This, well, I think Stevie Wonder went it. Might have sang this song. Well, anyway, I'll sing it. And if you know who sang it, you tell me later, okay? It, it goes kind of slow. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Yes. Isn't warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. Yay. Every time she goes away. Wonder this time where she's gone. Wonder if she's gone to stay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just ain't no home anytime she goes away. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Hey, I'm gonna leave that thing alone. Ain't hey, no sunshine when what? she's gone. It, it was. It hey, no sunshine, only darkness every day. Ain't hey, no sunshine when she's gone. And this house just ain't no home anytime she goes away. Anytime she goes away. So who did that song? Who did that song originally? Anybody know? No? Who? Neville, yeah, tell me. It's a, it's a sad song. She broke my heart. It's, it's a, a achy, breaky heart song, isn't it? I'm telling you, I'm doing all kinds of them. All right. So we're going to do a couple achy, breaky heart songs. We have, Oh, but we have to do this one. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is about your love. Okay. I've got to find it. Okay. People you really love make you happy no matter what the weather is. Okay. I'm going to find it. I want to get all the words. It's called My Girl. You guys get ready to dance. This is a dancing song. Okay. All right, you guys. Ready to dance? Okay. Put your hands like this. Sit up straight. Okay. We're going to sit up straight. I'm telling you, you guys will work up a really good appetite for lunch, right? So you're going to go like this. Do, 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 do. I got sunshine Yay. on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. I guess you say what can make me feel like my girl, my girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl. I've got so much honey, the bees envy me. I've got a sweeter song than the birds in the trees. Everybody sing. I guess you'd say what can make me feel this way. My girl, my girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl. I don't need no money, fortune or fame. I've got all the riches, baby. One man can claim. Last time you go side to side. Come on. I guess you'd say what can make me feel this way. My girl, my girl, my girl. Talking about my girl, my girl. And then the tape, temptations go. Ooh. Right? All right, you guys, thanks for singing along and dancing along, okay? So keep dancing today. Mm -hmm. Drink your water, see, that's good stuff. 
go to the last drop and I'm going to pack it up because it's that time. And I just want to wish you a lovely Valentine's Day. And don't, yes, Neville. We love you. Oh, I love you guys too. Thank you for singing along. Thank you for Take singing care. along. And just be well and and be nice to all, you know, your friends around there. And yeah, and tell your stories. And I'm gonna pack it up and I'll see you next week. Next week we're walking to New Orleans. All right. Okay. <laughs> gonna get Mardi Gras. We're gonna have beads, all those fun things. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna have a better Mardi Gras party right here visually than just about anywhere else. All right. And in the meantime, we're going to sing this. I'm going to pack it up like this. Pack up all my cares and woes. Here I go, singing low. Bye, bye, blackbird. Where somebody waits for me and sugar sweet, so is she. Bye, bye, blackbird. No one here could love or understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Make my bed and light the light up. I'll be home late tonight. Blackbird, bye bye. Blackbird, bye bye. Bye bye. See you next week, folks. Okay, promise.